Got a bunch of little minnows right here. There she is. The elusive and hidden Tesla Park Pond. Today we're going to be trying to do a little live bait. I did bring a couple lures. I do intend to toss out the little rattle trap lure, maybe a couple others. But my main mission here, I brought live worms and I want to catch a couple brim and then put them on a larger hook on a bobber and see about trying to catch a monster bass. Now I've come out and I've tried to do this a few times in the fall. I actually caught the largest bass I've ever caught in my life out of this pond. So I know they're in here. But time of year, I'm not sure why, but they hadn't been biting as much as I'd like coming back. And I can't help but just throw this just a few times before I get to the live bait. Perfect size. That's exactly what we want. What we got here? Imagine a bluegill, but could be some other species. Brim have so many subspecies that they are just impossible to tell the difference sometimes. All right, come here, to bass food. Slippery little guy. Let's hook him through the tail. Get some of the slime off my fingers. I know some of these bass have a habit of sitting off this corner here, so that's where we're gonna try first. Nothing happens, we'll see about moving. Look at him go. Certainly attracting some attention. I saw another smaller brim or something swim by it, so <clears throat> I think he's trying to swim down to get cover. That's why I see that bobber moving. Because when the bass take it, they kind of come up and just grab it, and then you just see the bobber slowly go down. That's looking a little more promising. I don't know what's going on here, but it's a really noisy crow. something. There we go. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, boy. Look at that. That's a heavy bass. That's what we're talking about. Yeah! <laughs> Man, that's exciting. God, I hope I'm rolling. Let me click this. Man, what a good fish. Look at that thing. Healthy, heavy bass. That's awesome. Good fish. Let's see if we can't get some slow mo release on this guy. Oh, he's just chilling now. Oh, he didn't make much of a show, but that's okay. 
Nice. Well, the plan worked. Now let's see if we can't find a bigger one. Almost. Started getting a little shallow there for me. Well, we found where they're at, so this shouldn't take long. There he goes. Oh my goodness. And the perfect size. Look at that. Usually I'm not so excited about catching such small brim. Prefer quite a larger one, but right now, what we're trying to do, this is absolutely perfect. It doesn't get much better than that for live bait. Battery and this GoPro is kind of low right now. So I think I'm gonna move it on around. I think we'll set right here, move to that pocket and then get back over to my bags on the other end and switch out the battery. There's a big old bass right there. If I can just catch a little brim, I think I might get him. Come on, come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Around here. Oh, there goes one sitting right there. You can see him right there. It would be so cool if I could watch him come up and get it. Oh, there he is. He's looking at it. Oh, 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 oh. The bass is sitting right there in front of him. Oh, there's two bass. Oh, look at him. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Come on, take him. Take it, take it, take it. Grab him. Why don't you grab him? Free meal. Look at him. Up here, you big! Oh, I broke my pole. It was so worth it. Oh, yes, the no. <laughs> I got two poles. That's cool. Oh my goodness! Look at this thing. Yes. <laughs> oh, I broke my pole for you. <laughs> I was too excited. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my God. Whoa. That was the coolest thing ever. I gotta watch. Two bass fight over my brim. And then this behemoth smacked it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God, I'm ecstatic. A little upset, I broke my pole. But that's okay, they're only like $20 poles, so I can't be too upset. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. That's got to be a personal best. Look at this thing. Whoa. Dude. Let me try and wash him up so I can take some pictures and pray to God I don't lose him. Okay, every bit of grip that I got here. Wash you up for picture time. How about pretty good? Oh, pretty good. Well, it's time to go rig up the other pole and hope we don't break it. Well, we're going to be catching monster bass with this little dinky thing. 
we're definitely gonna break this. Oh man. As a filmer, you can't ask for anything more awesome than that. Getting to like visually see them take it and see two bass fighting over it. That's the bass angler's dream. It's a YouTuber's dream. Like, wow. That's insane. <laughs> Man. Oh my. Okay, so, I got my secondary pole rigged up. I'm so glad I decided to bring my second pole or else I would just have to call it a quits right now. I don't think I can, I mean, it would just be too difficult to keep switching gear to catch the brim with the little rod and then the little rod versus a fish like the one I just caught. I don't think that's gonna go over too well. Oh my goodness, like trying to tie up, I was like just shaking, like barely get my knot tied. It's not very often you get to hook into a fish that size, at least not from the places I fish at. I generally catch the smaller bass, but oh man, dude, the, the live brim just never fail you. I advise you try it, you know, I'm more of a lure fisherman myself. I, I've made lures, I enjoy fishing with lures, but there's just something about live bait fishing that's just so thrilling. From catching it, you know, on the light tackle and then putting it on, finding the big bass. Oh, just got no words for it, just awesome. <laughs> so awesome. And there we go. We're ready to rock and roll again. Just tried was getting clustered with turtles. So let's see if there's another one sitting over here. I wasn't filming. <laughs> there was a second one over here. Let's not break my rod this time. Well, that was fast. I was just trying to calm down, take a moment. We caught the next one. Sorry about that, guys. I literally just turned the camera off. Caught this little guy. We got the second one there in the pocket. Pretty sweet. All right, back in you go. This must be the daddy. The other one was the mama. At least that's my thoughts. <laughs> Off he goes. Man, what a trip. So that's three bass. Got a new species here. I'll have to check into what species of shad this is, but that's a shad. Let's get a good photograph of him. That way we can figure out what he is later. Kind of exhausted the first pond. So come back here to the second pond. See if there's anything we can do here. For another good two or three hours with no bites, the brim bite started slowing down as well. I'd say it was a successful trip, not as long as I like to make the video, but hey, shorter videos are probably good to put in my repertoire. <coughs> but yeah, it's been an awesome trip. Caught a huge bass, broke one of my fishing poles. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Sometimes you win and lose at the same time. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But yeah, I'm getting pretty hungry. 
All I ate was a bowl of cereal this morning, so we're gonna trek on out of here, get back to the truck and go get some food. And we'll see you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed.